I wanted so much to come back here, and I can't tell you how moved I am by all of you once again coming out to congratulate me. And but the reason why I wanted to do this is I wanted to congratulate all of you because. <laughs> contributed to this event. Every person in this room contributed to this victory. Every person who manned a telephone, who wrote a check, who called their friends and neighbors, put up signs, and talked and talked and talked, wrote letters to the editor, talked to the media, did anything you could to get out the message and believe. And in this room are people who dared to believe. Dared to believe against the odds. could win a Senate seat in North Dakota. <laughs> so, to the extent people are calling this historic, to the extent people are calling this an upset, pat yourselves on the back. You all made it happen, right? You all made it happen. But I also wanted to say this, that we need to renew our commitment today. We need to renew our commitment today to working together. And I am extraordinarily grateful and um, very, very uh, proud to say that uh, Congressman Byrd called me yesterday, did a terrific job wishing us all well, talking about <laughs> the hard fought campaign, and those are hard, hard telephone calls to make. And I want to tell you something about Congressman Byrd. I was talking to Ken Conrad and I said, well, I don't know quite yet you know, when Congressman Byrd's going to call. He said he never but once got a telephone call from someone who was his challenge. You think about that. And I want you to measure that against Congressman Byrd calling me not once but twice yesterday. <laughs> Understand this, 
that I care deeply about passing in America on to the next generation that is debt free, that is a path forward so that we don't burden our children with this debt and that we in, in continue to provide great economic opportunity because we've done our job. We've done our job in our generation. That's our job. <laughs> National energy policy. We need to have people who know how to get along, and I can tell you, I am so excited to join Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. I, like to go, I like to go, so I have to tell her I had to get an applause line out of Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> I have just a quick story, and I don't know how many of you were here when Amy was here for the hot dish with the yeah. Harrison. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we were at an event, and I told people how extraordinarily um, uh, you know, popular Amy was in North Dakota, and that if I could just you know, maybe be a little bit more like Amy. Now, I will tell you, Amy's not known as the best presser. In Washington. <laughs> but I said, I'm going to go shopping with Amy down at her burgers, and she's going to teach me that maybe people, if they see us together, they'll give me a little boost. <laughs> but we've got a big job ahead of us. We've got a big job ahead of us, but I know with all of you who are the wind at my back, and with Senator Kent Conrad and Senator John Hoven, I know that we can do the right things for North Dakota, but I wanted to come here and once again in this great Teamster Hall that we have filled up three, four times in this campaign because we know that Cass County made the difference. I won by almost 10,000. <laughs> absolutely dug deep and dug deep and dug, dug deep and we've got new legislators from here. We have new opportunity in here. But I want you to think about this. I want you to think about a country where a girl whose dad was a seasonal construction worker and whose mom was a school cook can be standing in front of you as the next <laughs>